Hey guys, it's Peter Queen, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cool stocking stuffer for your parents. It could be for your mum, or for your dad, or a brother, sister, or even a friend. So, yeah. All you're going to need for the first step is a dog chewing you, right? Is a jar. I'm just using an old tomato with a hint of basil jar. Don't worry, the label is coming off. So yeah, you're going to then need a but spray bottle. I'm using one with that I've um, it was empty, so with a little tiny bit left to remain. So I just filled it up with water and my little mix. Um, it was an apple and citrus spray and wipe multi-purpose spray one that I'm going to use which my dog's now licking the jar so I'm going to use this to take this off and I'm also going to use some paper towel to scrub it so let's get started first up you're going to want to put, make sure there's a lid this one is an um, old jar lid I'm pretty sure but it's going to have to do My dog's going to me yet. Baby, that's got your poop in it. You want it, go into it. <laughs> right, so you just spray. I've got to try and get mine to work now. Oh, it's trying. Mine must be. I'm trying to work it. The moment I'm trying to. There we go. Now it's working. So spray it. Get a paper towel or your hand. So you can use your hand for this bit and just wipe. You want the whole thing over the whole jar. Because this is going to help you make your jar cleaner and easier. There you want to get your paper towel. Which is essential. And get one piece. And just rub. I came up with this idea myself, and yeah, I'm gonna make this into a hard bowl though, and I'm just gonna make you focus on my life because today is a bit different. And just rub. it can take a while to do these, and you want it in a hard bowl. Can use your nails, so don't be afraid to use your nails. This is a slow process, guys. So sorry, <laughs> should have warned you, but you get over it. So I'm just gonna put a bit on the paper towel too, just to help me out. I'm making a big patch my pants that shouldn't be there. Basically, I'm trying to get off the label fully now. It doesn't really matter if the sticky bit's there because we can deal with them. We really just want the full label off. Because that's the bit that matters, basically. And it's not coming off. This has worked in the past. I've done this in the past before. But every year I do it differently. And yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, I might have that break. Right. Do as much as you can. I'm now going to use some scissors just to try and loosen it. I didn't really want to break the glass, but it's come down to this. It's a lot easier to do if there's water on it, of course, because it just makes it slide towards my hand. Be careful of your hands if you're doing it. I 
I don't want you kind of hospital and going, I just got my hand open from scissors. I am being careful here, even though it looks like I'm not. It is pointing away from me as much as it doesn't look like it. <laughs> and I have a puppy going to sleep, which you can't really see, which is right here. It's just coming off here. That's basically what you want to happen. You just want it to basically slide off. slow process guys so I'm so sorry but when you do anything that's homemade DIY it is gonna be hard basically I'm just gonna clean this bit off here and then I'm going to do a different thing for the rest of it I'm gonna have to get a new piece of paper towel that might be useful Getting, using paper towel to do this is super easier, I feel, but I could be totally wrong. You may use paper towel all the time and you go like this other way. People, ha I don't know how many people do this. This was an original idea of mine to do this, but probably have other people with this. I thought of it like three minutes ago and I was like, I'm going to do it. Of course, some people don't keep jars in their house, but I do. It may just be a jam jar. Yeah. I just see half of it's done. Now all of that and this. This bit doesn't really matter because I've got a different way to do this, which you'll see soon. Basically, just make sure the whole thing's done, and make sure you don't get yourself wet on the process. So that's why I've got these and I've got also I'm going to use a paper uh, dishcloth to do that bit so see that whole thing I just got that bit there done when it's newly on it is so easy to just rub it in See how easy this is just coming off now? Like it's super easy. It's actually not when you watch the do it, but my channel is realistic. And this is no editing done. This is literally gonna have no editing done. I dry it off. Like this paper towel. For me. And this dry it off. Now basically you're gonna make your own label to go onto the sticky pit. Um what you want to do now. So now that you've done that bit, you're going to be going over to the bit I'm just about to go to. I'm just going to get my pencil case down my school bag. Let's see my pencil case. You want a piece of paper. Visible clean on. You want a piece of paper. I'm just going to use my, my math book. And you want pens. And make sure it stays sticky. It's got to stay sticky because it's got to stick on it. And if not, I'm going to be hot gluing it on. Which is not going to work. <laughs> But we'll see. 
you're going to want to use felt and first off tr make find out how big this is by putting on the paper I want to stick it and going around it because if it doesn't work it's still going to be fun basically you've just wrapped your whole jar in paper if you want to keep it this kind of artistic, which I am going to do, you can, which I just decided to do, you can do what I'm about to do. Basically make it like this. Where is it? Actually, take it off, but mine it has stuck. And you can basically see where I'm going to be doing it right here. Yeah, I'm not doing that, guys. I'm joking. But you are only in paper. If you want to do it like that, you can. I'm just not myself. But that's a personal decision. Basically, I am just going to make sure it does stick there because I do want it to be like a label. But other than that, I was joking. <laughs> make sure it's all done and you're gonna be like are they gonna see what's in the jar no because the last step which I'll show you is a lot easier you can like do crayons or whatever but basically what I'm doing is I'm going to write on mine in what color did I pick out I picked down a color and my dog is cold Oh, that's right, I was going to use red. But I'm going to use my black Sharpie and I'm going to write where my front is here. To mum. Then over here, you're going to go ho. Well, this is what I'm writing, you can do it however you want. Go ho. Merry Christmas. Open and pull out when upset. Plain directions are key for this working. So basically, it says to mum, which you can only see, and then a big swerve, and then basically find the colours you want and graffiti I'm just doing lines around to mum because I can I'm gonna get blue and I'm gonna scribble it down This is literally so funny. Then on around here, I'm just gonna go like this and do lines like I'm drawing away. Like I'm trying to get to the two mum. And you're done. That was super simple. Of course, you can get glue stick or whatever and go around in here. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna be sticking it onto the paint later on. Now you're gonna open it up. Make sure it's a clean jar, guys. Get some paper and do whatever. I'm going to use the paper and I'm gonna write things and and I'm just gonna write a whole heap of bunch of quotes and things and do it that way. Let's do it. When life gives you lemons 
make apple pie. My, my, I like that one. I just made it up. It's meant to say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But I wrote lim apple pie. And she's going to be like, what the hell? And that's going to be like, the whole point is like, you want them to be like, what the hell? So when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. It's okay. I mean, make a fly. My dog literally just went down on my arm. No. Quotes. So I'm doing quotes. Um, each one can, should be a different color. Never reuse the same pens until you've use old pens um i do it this way because then they're gonna be like oh a different color and then yeah but make sure they all work before using them because you don't want to be like that if you're writing like i'm going to be doing and be like oh it doesn't work so i have like no pencils so they're like all pens so like this is super easy and just do it so quotes Oh, I've got music playing. Okay, my dog is way too cold, so I'm just going to put a jacket over him. And hopefully he'll warm up. That's my motto, warm up if you've got a jacket. Right, heat them first and then put them in. And you can fold them up or do whatever you want to. I'm going to be folding them up. You can search up quotes and do it. Quotes to brighten day. Oh, I just want to say it's a day. I do this 100% of the time. It's super easy to do and I love quotes myself so this is just something quirky. And I'm going to write this one. I love those random memories that make me smile no matter what is going on in my life right now? Right, I'm going to turn off the camera and I will see you guys when I'm done putting it together. Once you have everything in, close the lid. Make sure you did actually cut it though. And now for the last and final step, you're going to need. Of course, you can do whatever you want with the label. If you got the whole label off, then you don't have to do that bit. But if you want to do that bit, then go ahead. I will be sticking it. But for now, I'm just going to do this. So what you're going to need is two different paintbrushes and two different paints. I'm using black and brutal. And these two paintbrushes. And I'm just going to be painting it on my math book, because why not? And I'm just sprinkling sprinkles everywhere and cleaning out my, cleaning out my brushes. Let's get started. You're going to want, I'm going to be doing it on my math book, because there's a piece of paper underneath it, just in case. I'm going to be painting the lid blue. Now it is a black lid, but I'm just going to be painting the lid blue. Don't know if you can see, but I'm just painting it blue. And at the end of this, you'll see that your jar that you had started with is no longer the jar. And I was going to realise that's gone. 
keys and I'm gonna be able to find it. No, Sevia. Yucky. He tried eating the paintbrush. Of course, you can go into the room like I am to get in there if you have to. Like I have to. Just make sure it doesn't close up because if it closes up, then how is she going to be opening it? She won't be. And she's, they are meant to be opening it. I'm saying she can have it because it's for my mum. But of course you can do it for your, mat, your dad or whatever, your brother's sister, best friend. As I said earlier. No. It's blue. And when it dries, you can do another like, coat if you want. I'm not going to be, but you can... It's up to you. I'm just going to finish using this. And you can just do it on the paper, like I am. Or under the paper, like I'm also doing. And you can just point it down. And it should stick as it dries, it should stick. And if it doesn't, then I don't know. I'm hoping it sticks, because otherwise I'm dead. Stop eating paper. My dog's eating paper. There. Now that that's done, I'm going to quickly paint that. There is some going to go clean up. But now that that's done, I'm going to get my black paint and paint it. But after it's dry, because you need it to dry before doing it. So we'll see when it's dry. Okay guys, um, I just did a second layer on the tub. It's looking really bad, but oh well. So that's what it looks like. That bit, the dark blue is drying, and then going all around and holding it together. So now we're going to do the black, and then we're done. Where the hell? I've lost the whole bunch of stuff. I've lost the brush. I found this. I the brush. It's the next day, guys. I left it dry overnight. And I would really do it as a two day thing, but it's really up to you how you do it. But I'm definitely doing it as a two day one because then it's fully dried um, and yeah if it's a really sunny day and you do it quite early in the morning then you may be able to do it as a one day one but other than that no I just do a two day and just take the extra time to do it and I need to get a paintbrush but yeah so it's Wednesday now. I started filming it Tuesday, and this will probably be up Wednesday or probably be up Thursday or Friday because I have two videos uploading right now, and my phone, not my phone, my laptop needs to have a reboot, and I've got so many videos to post, so I've got. I'm, I'm busy. I'm going to be doing a DIY video on how to make an iPhone speaker. Well, actually, it's an iPhone video, but anyway. So, let's do this. Get into black paint. I'm just using uh, Intro. Intro. Oh, that's a rhythm. Mode. It's just River Zine. So I'm, just put, I'm just going to put a bit at the corner. And if you like seeing stuff come out, then there. <laughs> and that should be enough to do it a couple of, maybe that should be heaps my makeup is clean yeah, everything else isn't still shocks me let's do it do you want to paint anything that's clear so that no one can see inside it If anyone can see it inside it, that means you've got to do more painting because you can't, you don't want anything to be able to be seen. It's got to be 100% cl 
down so you have to paint the side and you have to make sure the top is dry. Mine's dry enough to go down, but yeah. If it's not dry, it can be a real hassle. And we don't want that. So I'm going to paint over the blue. The reason I'm painting over the blue and I had the blue is the blue was more of a base for up here. And you could do a base for the whole thing and then do it. I'm just doing the base for this bit because this bit is more of a tougher bit to get into and paint. And you are going to do heaps of coats to the black because it's black and it's going on to glass. But other than that, yeah, you should be good. If when you're doing it, make sure it's like not going everywhere like mine is. I'm just doing mine like this because I like the different sort, but most parents don't. And my mum will be, not even use this. I can tell if she does, I'm surprised. She didn't use her last one I made her. And it wasn't like this. The last one I made her was a little coupon book for like free massage, free cuddle, all that sort of stuff. And she doesn't use it, so I doubt she'll use this. But if she does, then it wasn't free use, it had a use. But if it doesn't, well, no, I don't know. I wrote some really dirty stuff on this one because I'm quite a dirty person. If I leave it quite lame, she'll know something's going on and she's like, What's going on? Are you okay? And of course, I'm fine, I was just being stupid. But like, I'm quite dirty so she knows it's gonna be quite dirty anything she touches she thinks if I give it to her in a stocking she doesn't know what it is she's gonna think it's quite dirty I will be doing a wrapping video soon of me wrapping her presents but for now I'm just gonna continue doing this everyone's presents I've got to wrap everyone's presents so you can watch me wrap them I'm doing a whole heap of Christmas wish a whole heap of Christmassy ish videos but I don't know if you guys there's a lot of people doing vlogmas vlogmas and I'm not doing that so that's why I'm doing all these sort of videos like trying to put my Christmas tree out which I did do but apparently he doesn't want to post which is crazy I'm getting nearly done guys which is awesome And it has to be thick. I know a lot of people go like, no, don't make it thick. It has to be thick because otherwise you can see and it then looks really gross. So the thicker the better. When it dries, it won't be as thick. But, yeah. A bit more on the bottom. Heaps more on the bottom. I do a lot of cheap or homemade presents and I think they're better ones than spending like a fortune and setting up from like early and doing that. Like I've got, I got two of her presents from AliExpress and there was only one that was expensive and she's been wanting it for ages so that's why I got a really expensive one for her. So now all the rest of them are going to be homemade. Like I'm making a book for her and shit so yeah. Which I've got to make soon actually. I might make that today. But you won't see that. <laughs> Alright, now that it's done, I'm just gonna clean up my brush. So that I can go wash it. I'm going to put this on its lid because the lid is almost done. Ish. Sit up its lid. So that it can dry. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this video is useful and if it wasn't well I'm sorry so goodbye.